Hello students, today let us see a problem from the topic Markov chain. Let me read the question first. A coin is tossed repeatedly until getting three continuous heads and Xn denotes the number of continuous heads obtained in the first n tosses of the coin. Write the TPM. This is the question. Now for writing the TPM, let me see one example. I am going to toss a coin nine times. First time I am getting a tail. Second time I am getting a head. Third time I am getting a head. Fourth time I am getting a tail. Fifth time I am getting a head. Sixth time I am getting a tail. Seventh time I am getting a head. Eighth time I am getting a head. Ninth time I am getting a head. First task gives the value of x1. Second task gives the value of x2, x3, x4. Like that ninth task gives the value of x9. And first task value. In the first task we got tail so 0 x. Second task we get head so 1 head we obtain. Third task two continuous heads we obtain so x3 equal to 2. Fourth task there is a discontinuity in the head. So we got a tail discontinuity in the head so it again goes to 0. Fifth task again we got a head so one continuous head. Sixth task again there is a discontinuity in the head we got a tail so again it goes to 0. Seventh task we get a head so one continuous head. Eighth task head, head again so two continuous heads. Ninth task head again so three continuous head. So once we got three continuous head the play is over the game is over it will not be proceeded further now look at here x the markov chain takes value either 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 so four states are there so we will get a 4 by 4 transition probability matrix and look at an observation from 1 it goes to 2 or directly from 1 it goes to 0. From 2 it goes to 0 or from 2 it moves to 3. Once it reaches 3 the game is over it will remain the, at the state 3 itself forever. Similarly from 0 if we get head it moves to 1. If we get tail it will remain in state 0 itself. So look at the matrix, if it is in state 0, if we get head it moves to 1, probability of getting head is 1 by 2, if it get tail it moves to, uh, it remains in state 0 itself, probability of getting tail is 1 by 2. From state 1, it may move to state 2 or state 0, already I explained, either it moves to state 2 or it may move to state 0. It moves to state 0 if we get tail. Probability of getting tail is 1 by 2. So 1 to 0 probability is 1 by 2. 1 to 2 it may move if we get a head. Probability of getting head is 1 by 2. And from 2 it may move to 3 if we get a head. Probability of getting head is 1 by 2. So 2 to 3 is 1 by 2 and from state 2 it may move to 0 if we get a tail. So probability of getting tail is 1 by 2. So 2 to 0 probability is 1 by 2. If we reach 3 the chain will remain at state 3 itself forever. So probability of remaining in state 3 is 1. It is an absorbing state. So this is the transition probability matrix of the given problem. And let us see another problem in the next class. Thank you.